Congratulations to Dietrich. Uh, Dietrich, great guy. His team played excellent today. Uh, apologize to our fans uh, for our defensive effort once again. I think we're coming into this game where one of you guys had asked me in the press conference about our defense. I told you it's, our metrics are horrible. So you can't defend, you can't win. We give up 51% from the field, 58 from the three-point line. I give them credit. They gave a lot of guys made shots today that hadn't made shots. But they took care of the ball. They passed the ball. They found the open man. If you hold the ball long enough, we'll break down. So we're not good enough to win with offense. We got to win with defense. And it's a new thing for these guys. We don't have the we don't have hardened defenders, and I got to figure it out. It's like I said, I apologize to people that took their time out of their Saturday over the holidays that had to come and watch us. Our defensive efforts. It's beyond sickening. It's beyond sickening. Sickening at the highest level. I don't know how else to describe it to you. Question? Coach, how is the effort in practice? And uh, is that, obviously it's not translating, Efforts but what, what do you see? Everybody puts out effort. You gotta get the job done. We don't get the job done. Everybody puts out effort. Effort's way overrated. You got to execute the defensive game plan. You got to know who can shoot, who's going to drive, all the way down to the last play where number 10 is going to drive it and take a floater. You know, Coach Lewis showed them for three days. Is the execution happening in practice but not translating here? Well, you're playing each other in practice. So, but I would tell you in practice, we're a really good offensive team. The numbers say it because we're playing against our defense. So, to answer your question, now we, we're not a good defensive team. We don't have good defensive players. We don't, and I, at the end of the day, I got to find some something. Probably we try to play zone, and for our guys, that's just a reason to to rest. So I'm trying to throw the book out and try to, you know, everything I can for, from full court press. To, but a lot of our problem is a, is lack of lack of execution. Whether it's stay in front of the ball, don't help for no reason. Somebody gambled off a shooter on the far side wing for no reason at the end of the shot clock. Every time we made, did, did something uh, that was a lack of execution, help for no reason, they threw it to the guy and it went in today. Every time we did it, every time, even if the guy was a non-shooter, it went in. Every time we helped for no reason in the second half or nine for 13 from three. You but a lot of those should have never happened is what I'm trying to say to you. Do you by chance have an update on uh, Jaime? No. What was your message to the team afterwards um, defensively on how you guys can turn this around? Uh, the message is really irrelevant. I've given, given the same message, you know, I didn't change. I didn't change when I got here as a coach. You know, it's not like I forgot how to coach defense. So at some point, the, uh, you got to get five guys out there. Problem is you're playing guys, you don't know who to play. You got to try to find five guys that can get a stop. So my message to them was this, it's the same as it's been. I knew this was coming. So people just think, well, you're on the road or it's your opponent. Our execution. Until, until here's our problem in a nutshell. Uh, until we realize uh, that you have to, you, you only, the only reason teams do things like defend, really execute their plays, is because they have humility. You have humility. That's I've talked about it before. I've talked about it over the holiday break. We need to get some humility. Uh, you know, is my opinion. Uh, you know, some of it's youth, but some of it is arrogance for no reason or ego for no reason. You know, we, you know, I, I told him it's not you know, our fate isn't going to change until we get some humility to where cool does not win. You got to be willing to do the uncomfortable things that go into winning. If all you're worried about is getting 12 points, regardless of the outcome for our team, it's going to continue. 
So my message to them in the locker room is at what point are they going to challenge each other? I can only do, you, know, you can only do so much, you know, other than call Chip Kelly and see if he'll loan me a couple of guys. Because our post defense is, you know, we just get wiped out, turn and lay it in. Stuff I've never seen happen before. We grabbed a rim on a guy who got fouled on a layup that wasn't going in. We grabbed a rim and gave him two points on a goal ten. Like, Coach, you know, I got a lot of work to do. So, you know, it's a shame that, that, that it's at this point. But our, our, uh, you can only build a culture with guys that are going to be about what you're asking them to be about. Coach, when you talk about hum humility, how yeah. do you how do you teach that to a team? Well, right most now? people get humbled, uh, like Cal State Fullerton came in today, like they were playing against UCLA. The problem is, they were playing against. They, they came in with the humility that they were playing against guys in the rafters, the way with their attitude and the way they approached the game today. All you got to do is watch it. You can just see it. They're not too good to do every little possible thing that goes into winning. And that's why I got to change here. I got to, we got to totally change that. We're not going to win until we, until we're humble enough to do the things that it takes to win games. Name of your Jersey has nothing to do with who wins basketball games. Usually the team is humble enough to do the things it takes, gets the win. Now, sometimes in basketball, you just win because you got way better players, but that's not going to be the case with us. Prince didn't get a start today. That's the first time since season opener. What kind of went into the, that decision? And I, well, whoever I you, start has become trying to give us the best chance to win. That's always going to be the same answer. Where do you think Prince is in his game right now? Obviously, a little bit of a struggle I, I for him, no, but he's I, one. I of, think we're all struggling. Sorry to. Do you think? But that, I'm not, you know, my, I'm not going to tear him down. I say you know, I'm not going to do it. So. Back in the old days, you know, a few years ago, they, they would say this, this is a trap game because it's right before the Pac-12. Even though they shouldn't have overlooked any, anyone, do you think that maybe the Pac-12 would now wake them up? No. No, I don't believe in that at all. I've heard that said, but I don't believe in that at all. Not, not even for 1% do I believe that. When you talk about humility, does that play into the execution part? Oh, too? absolutely. Absolutely. You know, so what I'll leave you guys with is, you know, winners, winners know why they win. Losers don't know why they don't lose. They don't know why they lose. They think it's the coach, their teammates, uh, the referees. Winners know that winners know that intangibles win games preparation, adherence to the game plan, execution, physicality, toughness. Winners know that. They know the jersey doesn't matter. They know the little battles within the game. They're willing to do the uncomfortable things that go into winning a game. So that's my charge. You got to get it done. Thanks, guys.